All right, now we're doing free code camp, new responsive web design, learn HTML by building a cat photo app, step 58. All right, now we're gonna add another checkbox after the one we just added. The ID attribute value should be lazy, and the name attribute value should be the same as the last checkbox. All right, so we're just gonna look at this to see what we're gonna do. All right, so we're gonna also add a label element to the right of the new checkbox with the text lazy. We're gonna make sure to associate the label element with the new checkbox using the for attribute. You got it. So we're pretty much just gonna do exactly like this, uh, but with lazy. All right, so let's get that going on. We're gonna say, uh, let's start off with this input. Input like this. All right, because we don't need the closer for input. So we're going to say ID equals lazy type equals checkbox name equals uh, personality. All right, because it's the same as the last checkbox. All right, now we're going to do, I guess, a space and then we're going to do a label, label, and then another one label we're gonna make this one closed off one like this with a slash and inside here we're gonna put lazy just like we did with the loving here and then we're gonna do four lazy and then we're gonna do four attribute right here four equals lazy just like this one hopefully this works let's see Test it out. All right, good. Let's see if we made one. Ah, oh, loving and lazy. Outdoor, indoor, what? Anyway, submit it. And now we're on uh, step 59, and we'll see you next time.